Tyrion versus Jaina. You asked for it. I must protect Bopai. Okay. Well, in a deck that has no three drops and two two drops, I think we want Wild Growth in our opening end. So I'm going to mulligan for that. Uh, no Summer Quest, yeah, matcha. I'll do Summer Quest when I'm casting or like going or just talking about the whatchamacallit games. The wild open stuff. That's what I'll do, Summer Quest. What's up, Grandman Leo? How you guys doing? Uh, just get a ladder for like a bit, get some YouTube stuff before that starts, is my game plan. Hey, Special Child, how you doing? What's good? Honestly, not that bad of a hand. Can do the YOLO Fandral and Foreign to Nourish if that works out. Let's make magic. Whoa, dude, I don't want to make magic. She. Not drawing is okay, it's not a big deal. Maybe he's not Secret Mage and just Tempo Mage. That would be nice. Shredder. Knowledge is power, and I know a lot. Okay. Behold the rage of the firelands. Well, I'm ready to get ping arcane blasted. I learn. Let's go for the play where we ramp. I like Grizzled Guardian a lot in this deck because you have infinite Astral Tigers. So your Grizzled Guardian dies and you pull two Astral Tigers. It's pretty sweet. Legend Ladder is very messed up in Wild. Yeah. Uh, Sippy had like a 90% win rate and dropped 25, uh, 25 ranks. It's a lot of spell power. Holy shit. I could have hear part is Minion and Oaken plus Swipe, but I just I feel like this is stronger. The funny thing that can happen is if you play Umbra and then an Astral Tiger... The tiger will get shuffled into your deck, and you'll get a minion. That's kind of hilarious. Welcome everybody, hope everybody's having a good day. What is good boys? How y'all doing? What should get me out of place today? Yeah, I saw it a little bit, it looked pretty cool. So I was like, fuck it dude. I really like get me out, because he builds a lot of cool decks dude. That are, he, he's really good at building decks that are like fun, but somewhat competitive. He's probably like the best at doing that in wild. It's one of the things that I do have to say about him is he's very, very good at building like somewhat competitive decks that are just fun to play. Really, if you look at all the lists that he's built, he's just um, he's somebody who focuses a lot more on building decks like this that are just fun uh, and making them somewhat viable. Whereas like somebody like me, I usually try and take really good decks and make them even better. Is usually what I try and focus on. So I really like respect that from him that he can do that because I, I personally don't put too much effort in. What's up, so brother? How you doing? That's a big frostbolt. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, okay. It only gives... Oh, I'm stupid, dude. Okay, yeah, because it says copy. There was another card with Umbra, where it shuffled the card in your deck. Malorn. Malorn. Yeah, Malorn. Fuck. It was Malorn. When you play Umbra and Malorn together... Oh my god. Two mana flame strike. What the fuck? That's insane. I have Nizoth, so I just want to go for the tigers. Holy shit! You've got to be kidding me. Two mana flame strike. What the fuck? <laughs> Dalar on Aspire and his new meta, man. Holy. Okay, so what? What other fun spell does he use? It clears my board for a small amount of mana. I don't think I can play Nazoth on 10. I'm pretty sure I have to swipe this and clear it just because the spell power that he has right now is ridiculous. I can I light your fire? Okay, we got pretty lucky with that. <laughs> oh my god. Two mana deal 14 damage. Holy shit. Oh my god. I don't know if I just want to polite and give him the naturalize. 
Three damage isn't a lot. I need to get rid of the spell power. It's not a poison season. I don't really want to commit either of those right now. Next turn, though. Play this thick boy. Cool thing is you get the Grizzle Guardian back, and the Grizzle Guardian gives you more Astro Tigers. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We might just be dead to double fireball next turn, but I mean. No, uh, no, I should go for this. Let's go save play. Kinda of nuts how we hear part enough to actually get a Malagos out of that. Just getting three cards isn't that big of a deal. But I just want to play around this because I feel like I win the game almost every time now. Oh, I have not seen Failey's lineup now. I couldn't click on anything in the bracket, dude. I could only see Luxus's lineup and yours. That's a cheap all enough. Shit. I don't think we played enough death rattles to get punished for this, so we should just be fine doing this. Yeah, perfect. And we get golden astral tigers, so that's a big bro for sure. Beautiful card. I was actually really excited for Grizzly Guardian when the set dropped, but it's actually not as good as I thought it would be. Okay, well fortunately we do have a big board so we can protect ourselves. I mean, I only get one tiger if that gets pulled, so that's good for him. For value. We will shape this world to our will. Start with the counter spell, or the wild growth. Sorry, to test for counter spell. UI is pretty good. Yo. Thanks for the host, MTG Nerd Girl. How was your stream? Welcome, guys. Mm, let's just, like, do this, and then this, and then this. And then this, and then go face. Funny thing is, I think I do actually lose if I just armor up every turn. But we have 21 next turn, and he doesn't have a ping, so we should just be able to, like, go face and UI his face, and pop the block that he most likely has, and we should be fine then. How is this like against Big Priest and Giant Slug? Or, um, I mean, the Big Priest matchup isn't good at all. The Giant Slug matchup, I assume, is okay. I don't want to say that it's good because I don't think it is good, but I think it's okay. I mean, I want a UI, but I can't not KT when you get value from it, right? What am I supposed to do, dude? What am I supposed to do? Let's shuffle some tigers in the deck, alright? <laughs> we have to go for this, though. It's necessary. I want 500 tigers in my deck. Also, I can play Kel'Thuzad, and I haven't been able to do that in a long time. Which is sweet. So the beautiful thing about this is he's not singing, uh, sending things towards our face, and now he's fatiguing for a bunch. So we kind of just like made it over the hump and now we sort of just won. I mean, we literally just won, right? Because it's block. We actually always win here. I think. Because he just fatigues for two next turn, so we just put him down to two, then we won. Yep, GG. Kind of a nice win. That was the nutty Aspirant though. I've never seen Dalaran Aspirant ever pop off like that before. It's actually crazy. I think like as far as my enjoyment goes in this format, it's like at an all-time low basically right now. Uh, I still like playing fun decks in a while, but playing competitively right now is very, very weird. Or like trying to try hard on ladder just is not something that I want to do at the moment. Uh, with the mulligan, I'm hoping he's an aggro deck by the way, not a uh, Giants Warlock. If he's giants, we can still win. We still draw seeds. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about like playing ladder and stuff, and having so many games just decided by a turn four or five when I really feel like I don't influence anything. Just kind of is upsetting, I guess. 
Okay, I feel like the other day when I was playing Patron Warrior on ladder, I, I played like 22 games and went like 10 and 12. It was just, I, I don't know, dude. It was just depressing to be honest. Like my last eight games or so, the notes that I was taking on my wins or losses were just ridiculous. Like, um, so for, for four games in a row, my notes were th for three games against Big Priest were Barnes on four or Barnes on three were my literal notes for the games. Like I lost and those were my notes. And then one game I said Nog on turn four. Just four games in a row, I had zero chance to win. I, I understand that I'm playing a bad deck and you shouldn't be able to win consistently if you are playing bad decks. But it's just kind of crazy how you have to really adapt to these degenerate decks like Barnes. Uh, th these degenerate decks that include Barnes and being able to cheat things out or Nagasi, which should be able to cheat things out. Or else you can't do anything, right? You're just not going to have a successful deck in the metagame right now if you don't have cards that will counter them like Poison Seeds and Naturalize. And your whole strategy really has to be revolving around them, which to me is kind of silly. Some of you guys might disagree and actually enjoy that kind of a gameplay, or a game plan, you know, being able to do that, but I, I personally don't enjoy the entire metagame being warped around two decks that often just went on turns four or five. At all. Did I make a run for the second uh, to try and qualify for the open? Uh, I was actually going to uh, cast the events tonight. So I was going to cast the regional qualifiers, so I couldn't actually attempt trying to uh, qualify because I was supposed to be on a plane uh, to um, to California during the time. Unfortunately, um, I needed a visa to go to the States and do the casting stuff, and um, myself and Blizzard both did not think that I did, uh, but I did. So I ended up being detained for like three and a half hours instead of being able to play in the open the last chance thing after not being able to go in. Uh, I think we just plague and then wrath the two one and draw. So Egg is kind of a fun matchup, and this guy's playing an interesting build of it too. I dig it. Yeah, so unfortunately I didn't have the shot at qualifying again. Uh, I'll just take my ninth place finish for the first one and say that was good enough. Which sucks. I really would have liked to add. I mean, I personally like the, the chance to just like cast is honestly like a dream of mine, so. I was happy to just give up being able to play, just go ahead and cast and do that. So I really like uh, sharing my passion for the format and being able to tell stories of players that I know that will qualify. But uh, unfortunately it didn't end up working out like that, it's all good though. Okay, so that's a scary board. I think we just double Okens. I probably should have nourished, it's fine though. I'm just gonna pass here. Make him do stuff. I mean, I don't even really think Big Priest would be that interesting in the deck without Barnes. Uh, it's nature is very straightforward. Just play removal spells over and over again, then Shadow Essence on six without Barnes. I still don't think it's a very fun deck or one that's super healthy, but they're obviously pushing it, right? And they think the Big Priest is a fun deck, like Blizzard isn't the developers. So the best thing that we, the players, can do is. Uh, you know, kind of help lead them on that some cards in the deck are extremely unbalanced, being Barnes, and they need to be changed. Hold up, how has he got so many Explorer's hats? Feign death. Yeah, I'm being silly. Huh, that's very good. Yeah, I've had a, a couple of unfortunate weeks, to be honest, man. That's kind of sucked. But, um, you know, not much you can do when you have um, some bad times and then just bounce back. No reason to complain about stuff or anything. i uh, just going to start with the Nourish because we draw 3 for 3. Which is really strong. Crystal Guardian's powerful. Second Plague's really good. Don't know if I want to commit it yet. I can just play Sylvanas. Could also coin Grizzly Guardian. I pull Umbra and the Tiger. He's played both his Fane Deaths and those are the strongest cards in his deck, so I think I'm okay where we are right now. Yeah, I'd argue I had like one of the worst months of my entire life this month, but I don't know. I, f I feel like there's no reason to just like be sad about it and stuff, because like shit's already happened. There's nothing that I can do about stuff. It's one of those things. No reason to get upset about stuff that you can't change, right? You get upset about it, but it's not going to accomplish anything is my point, basically. So I'll try to keep my head up and uh, all that kind of good stuff, you know? Uh, 
Uh, swipe is really good here, actually. You just swipe your place of honest. I have no time for I really want to play some honest. It's super awkward for that deck to deal with. I know Nazoth seems good there, and, and it is, don't get me wrong. Like, Nazoth and a double branching pass for attack just wins me the game. But I think this is just slightly better. Corpse Widow. He's got a very interesting take on Egg Hunter. Let none survive. It's a kinda good Nazoth. Kinda good. Definitely not gonna complain about it. Nazoth in this deck is juicy as fuck, man. Oh my god. I love playing Nazoth with the new Death Rattle cards because I get to see the golden animations. Super sweet. Sounds stupid, but I'm always a big fan of golden cards in Hearthstone. Oh, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I have 23 on board right now. If he clears the 3-5, I get more Astral Tigers, which means I'm just closer to winning. And double branching pass is like shitty Savage Aurora, which is still more than enough to win here. So he's got a W. Uh, I think the thing with Hadronix is it's a little bit too much, you know? I don't feel like it's necessary to win, and it only really works with um, Grizzled Guardian, right? So I don't think the card's actually that good in this deck. It's fun, though, but not necessarily good. Try out Eggmaster Priest. Oh, I played Egg Priest a little bit. It's fun. So I'm literally three off on board right now. Let's go for the pass. Good game. It's a cool deck that he has. I dig it. I'm really happy that I'm like a rank five right now because I get a Q in a deck like this instead of the Barnes, uh, Barnes Big Priest and Giants lock. It's really cool. Not so much just because I gotta win games, but because I gotta see different stuff. I had fun doing them as well. Malfurion versus Malfurion. I must protect Druid you. Mirror, oh man. Nature must be preserved. Hey, wild growth, let's go. I like the growth. Honestly, not a bad hand. UI is just nice to have, especially if he's another slow druid. Crazy Canadian time? No, man, it's normal. It's like 11.43 right now. Also, for heads up, I'm going to be on uh, Omnistone tomorrow at like 4.30, so that's cool. I'm basically just going to stream until I get tired and then just go to sleep and then wake up and do that tomorrow. So that should be a lot of fun. Talking about some wild stuff. It's going to be wild. I am West Coast, yes. From Surrey, British Columbia. Close to Vancouver. Probably heard of Vancouver, not so much Surrey. If you've heard of Surrey, I would not recommend going there. It's not that nice of a place. Really? Okay, I mean, he's scared to nourish. I respect that. It feels like it's a little bit of an overreaction to me, though. I don't know about how you guys feel about that, but... Really? Uh, in case he's Mally, I'm really going to look to just start playing Malfurion and armoring up every turn. It's really, really good because you can actually get out of range of even triple Mally goes. Super sweet. I don't hang out with any streamers in Canada now. Uh, but yeah, I don't even know who Geek Geek say is. I don't know if there's a huge streaming community in Vancouver. I know APX White is from uh, Vancouver and he streams. 
I don't want too many other people though, to be honest. APX is chill though. I know BlizzCon, he's actually a really nice guy. It's probably my favorite part about going to events is just meeting all the people and stuff that uh, you know you see online. You don't necessarily talk to. I thought that was a really sweet part of it. So I'm gonna dump so I can UI. Uh, I probably just Armor Wrath. Then I have four cards plus a coin, so a coin UI. So the host, uh, Dragon, how's your stream, man? What's good? Do I see you been playing standard? How's that been going? I've always been considering like copying you and doing that. <laughs> Hope the stream is good though, dude. Thanks for those. Well, let's uh, just do this. Tank it up. Tank it up. Do I already have that? Yes, I came in first, Matcha. Dude, I came in first in the lol land. Go, go like my picture on Instagram, guys, okay? Check out the gram, alright? I'm starting to be more active on the gram, so... Check out my gram. See? Came first in the BCIT's league line with the boys, alright? With the boys. Spellstone, okay, so it looks like he's playing Fatigue Druid. Uh, so we're also playing a Fatigue deck. Ours is unfortunately a little bit shittier than his is because he gets infinite jades and we get infinite. Uh, I think it's clear minions. His face just doesn't matter. Could even dissolve and stuff, but he has poison seeds number two, so that already answers that. We basically have in infinite astral tigers, but he has infinite um, jades, which is a little bit better. We do have KT and Savannah, so our whole game plan now is going to be just to get a slight lead on board and edge ahead that way. What did I win? Uh, a bunch of mouse pads and a backpack. That's about it. Just a bunch of swag stuff. Oh no, he's playing... Okay, he's playing Mali. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's good then. That's a lot less damage, that's like negative 16. Uh, so we're gonna want to naturalize here 100% of the time, because that makes him overdraw. And him overdrawing is good, because he loses combo pieces sometimes. Hey, let's get it. That feels good, man. Shit. Uh, I think I'm just going to play Umbra and Oakens. Go to Tiger. It's not like great, it just does something. It's really funny how it's four tiny Asian dudes in you. Hey, man, my friends aren't tiny, okay? They're not tiny, alright? I'm just big, okay? I'm a big, thick boy. My friends aren't that big, alright? But I'm a big, thick boy. Uh-oh. Well. Top five easiest Hearthstone games of my life, boys. Let's get it. Damn, I was actually scared for a second. I thought this guy was a fatigue druid. I was like, shit, man. How are we gonna win? But, alas, he is not a fatigue druid. He is a lowly Mali Druid. Get wrecked by my poison seed, son. Oh yeah, go for that attack. Oh yeah, you go for that attack. I, I honestly feel like he should have held that back. I don't know, he probably UIs again next turn though. Death is eternal. It's a weird uh, starfall. But a uh, pretty tough turn for me, guys. I guess... I'd rather have a time, man, and see it's uh... Tough turn, boys, tough turn. <laughs> Actually, I should have attacked the other one, because then I have one more 1 5. That's better, because then I just swipe after. That was a misplay. But it does not matter, because we burn melee. Let's get it. 